the best didn't make it out of these concentration camps because the only way that you can survive is by luck. The first half of the book, at least, is telling Viktor Frankl's story. His wife, his mom, his dad, and his brother, they're all taken. They basically separate like left or right. Left means you're going straight to the baths, which means gas chambers, and then right means you're going to the labor camp. So his entire family just sent to the left, um, except him. I think because he knew like he you know, got his stature up and just looked healthy. It's just like luck of the draw that he made it because so few did. And he had the luck of being a doctor. So they treated him a little bit better. How was he liberated ultimately? The, the allies were coming in on them. So everyone has to leave. Victor has to get on this truck to leave. But for some reason, his guard just didn't let him go. And so he had to wait for the next truck and it, it took a really long time. What ended up happening was like the Red Cross came and he what he later found out is that those trucks went to another camp and then inside the camp they locked all the prisoners in and set it ablaze so he would have burned to death.